New Fatigue Analysis In the 2024 version of ZW3D Structural Simulation plugin, a new type of fatigue analysis has been added. The following is a case of fatigue analysis of a horizontal jack support part. Before performing fatigue analysis, mechanical simulation is required. First, let's create a static analysis project. Define the material properties of the support part. Then, according to the real working conditions of the supporting parts, set boundary conditions and set fixed constraints on the upper end face. Set the bearing load at the round hole as 4500N. The model is meshed by finite element method and higher order element is used. You can set high performance computing parameters according to on the hardware configuration of your computer to improve computing efficiency. Check pre-processing. After the setting is done, the solver begins the calculation. After calculation, we can check the simulation results in the post-processing. This is the plot of total displacement. This is the plot of average equivalent stress and we can use the probe function to view the average equivalent stress value at any location. Next, we create a fatigue analysis project with constant amplitude. First, we need to define the constant fatigue load, and here we need to use the results of static analysis. Define the SN curve of the material. Here, I use the SN curve automatically generated by the software. Then we need to set task options for the simulation analysis. After the setup is done, the solver starts the calculation. In the post-processing, we can see the fatigue damage plot of the structure and the corresponding fatigue life plot. The new fatigue analysis broadens the application range of the ZW3D structural simulation plugin and meets more requirements for structural simulation.